Back here in Washington, President Obama says both sides in the debt debate need to get out of their comfort zones and come to the White House Thursday ready to make a deal on the debt ceiling. Chief Washington correspondent Jim Engel has an update. President Obama told reporters he's calling lawmakers of both parties to the White House for another round of debt talks, seeking what he called a balanced approach. We need to take on spending in domestic programs, in defense programs, in entitlement programs, and we need to take on spending in the tax code, spending on certain tax breaks and deductions for the wealthiest of Americans. He said they need Business trillions school, in savings, uh, but didn't specify further. He also talked about investing in the future, a term he uses to refer to spending programs. Some suggest a shorter term increase in the debt limit could be a fallback. If no bigger deal is possible, the president dismissed the idea. There may be some in Congress uh, who want to do just enough to make sure that America avoids defaulting on our debt in the short term. Uh, but Ben wants to kick the can down the road when it comes to solving the larger problem of our deficit. I don't share that view. Earlier, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid reconvened the Senate after canceling its July 4th recess to work on the debt, opening with a somber warning. This default crisis is not a new problem. It's been around for months. But we no longer have months or even weeks to avert this catastrophe. We have days. Nevertheless, the first issue placed before the Senate was not the debt, but rather a measure to approve U.S. action in Libya, which brought one Republican after another to the floor to say they'd oppose moving to that issue until the debt is addressed. Regardless of how one feels about the Libyan resolution, that's not what we need to be doing this week. In the face of that, the Libya resolution was pulled from consideration. Meanwhile, lawmakers fired a few shots in the debt battle, with Democrats still pushing for tax increases. That's why I brought to the floor legislation demanding millionaires and billionaires contribute their fair share to this crucial deficit reduction struggle. But Democrats are proposing to hit people at much lower incomes than a million. They want to limit tax deductions, such as those for mortgage interest or charitable contributions, for couples making $250,000 a year. And Republicans say Democrats want more spending, even in a deal to reduce debt. They want a second stimulus, more deficit spending. In the middle of a jobs crisis, they want to raise taxes that we know will kill even more jobs when even the president has said that raising taxes would leave job creators with less ability to hire. But unlike the previous talks, all eight top congressional leaders will attend Thursday's session. Adding new faces to the negotiations at this point could mean bigger differences, not smaller ones. Brett. Jim, thank you.